Welcome to our exciting countdown of the top 10 sightseeing sites in the vibrant city of Copenhagen, Denmark. Sit back, relax, and let us guide you through the sites that will make your visit to Copenhagen truly unforgettable. Let's dive in. Number 10, Copenhagen Opera House. The Copenhagen Opera House graces our list at number 10 with its striking modern architecture and waterfront location. Designed by Henning Larsen, this iconic building stands out for its sleek lines and glass facade, offering a stunning contrast to the historic surroundings. As the home of the Royal Danish Opera, it hosts world-class performances that blend tradition with innovation. While it may not have the historical significance of some higher-ranked sites, the Copenhagen Opera House impresses with its contemporary design and acoustics. Its position at number 10 showcases the city's commitment to blending the old with the new, making it a must-see for those seeking a cultural experience in Copenhagen. Number 9. Frederick's Church At number 9 we have Frederick's Church, also known as the Marble Church, a magnificent architectural gem in Copenhagen. This Baroque-style church features a stunning copper dome that dominates the city skyline. While not as grand in scale as some of the higher-ranked sites, Frederick's Church impresses with its intricate details and elegant design. The interior boasts beautiful marble columns, intricate frescoes, and a sense of tranquility that envelops visitors in a serene atmosphere. Compared to the modernity of the Copenhagen Opera House at number 10, Frederick's Church offers a glimpse into the city's rich history and architectural heritage. Its position at number 9 highlights its beauty and cultural significance in the heart of Copenhagen. Number 8. Round Tower Coming in at number 8 is the iconic Round Tower, a historic landmark that offers panoramic views of Copenhagen. Built in the 17th century as an astronomical observatory, the Round Tower impresses with its unique cylindrical design and spiral ramp that winds its way to the top. While not as ornate as some of the higher-ranked sites, the Round Tower's simplicity and functionality make it a standout attraction. Visitors can enjoy sweeping views of the city from the observation deck, providing a different perspective compared to the grandeur of Frederick's Church at number 9. Its position at number 8 showcases the Round Tower's architectural significance and its role in Copenhagen's skyline. Number 7. National Museum of Denmark the National Museum of Denmark secures the seventh spot on our list, offering a fascinating journey through Danish history and culture. Housed in a grand 18th century palace, this museum showcases a diverse collection of artifacts, from Viking treasures to modern Danish design. Its extensive exhibits provide a comprehensive look at the country's heritage, making it a must-visit for history enthusiasts. While not as visually striking as the Round Tower at number 8, the National Museum of Denmark stands out for its educational value and immersive displays. Its position at number 7 highlights its importance in preserving and sharing Denmark's rich cultural legacy with visitors from around the world. Number 6. Amalienborg Palace Amalienborg Palace claims the sixth spot on our list, serving as the official residence of the Danish royal family. Comprising four identical Rococo-style palaces surrounding an octagonal courtyard, Amalienborg exudes regal elegance and charm. The palace's changing of the guard ceremony is a popular attraction, showcasing the royal traditions and pageantry of Denmark. While not as historically significant as the National Museum of Denmark at number 7, Amalienborg Palace offers a glimpse into the monarchy's modern-day life and ceremonial practices. Its position at number 6 highlights its cultural importance and architectural beauty making it a must-see destination for those seeking a royal experience in Copenhagen. Number 5. Christiansborg Palace Securing the fifth spot on our list is Christiansborg Palace, a majestic architectural marvel that houses the Danish Parliament, Supreme Court, and Prime Minister's Office. This grand palace, with its neoclassical facade and iconic tower, stands as a symbol of Denmark's political power and history. Visitors can explore the royal reception rooms, marvel at the opulent Great Hall, and ascend the tower for panoramic views of Copenhagen. While not as intimate as the royal residences like Amalienborg Palace at number 6, Christiansborg Palace offers a glimpse into the country's governance and democratic processes. Its position at number 5 highlights its significance as a hub of political activity and a must-visit landmark in Copenhagen. Number 4. Rosenborg Castle At number 4, we have the enchanting Rosenborg Castle, a Renaissance-style palace nestled in the heart of Copenhagen. This historic gem, built in the early 17th century by King Christian IV, exudes charm and elegance with its copper roof towers and ornate interiors. 
Rosenborg Castle houses the Danish crown jewels, making it a treasure trove of regal artifacts and royal history. While not as sprawling as Christiansborg Palace at number five, Rosenborg Castle captivates visitors with its intimate rooms, lush gardens, and rich tapestries that transport you back in time. Its position at number four highlights its cultural significance and architectural beauty, offering a glimpse into Denmark's royal past. Number three, The Little Mermaid. Taking the third spot on our list is the iconic statue of The Little Mermaid, a symbol of Copenhagen's fairy tale charm and maritime heritage. Inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's beloved story, this petite bronze sculpture perched on a rock along the waterfront captivates visitors with its whimsical allure. While not as grand as Rosenborg Castle at number four, the Little Mermaid enchants onlookers with her wistful gaze and timeless beauty. A popular photo spot and a cultural landmark, the statue embodies the city's connection to the sea and Andersen's literary legacy. Its position at number three highlights its enduring popularity and status as a must-see attraction in Copenhagen. Number two, Nihaven. Earning the second spot on our list is Nihaven, a picturesque waterfront district that embodies the vibrant spirit of Copenhagen. Lined with colorful townhouses, historic ships, and charming cafes, Nihaven is a postcard-perfect destination that exudes a lively atmosphere. The bustling harbor, once a hub for sailors and merchants, now beckons visitors to stroll along its cobblestone streets and soak in the maritime charm. Compared to The Little Mermaid at number three, Nyhaven offers a dynamic blend of history, culture, and modern-day allure, making it a favorite spot for locals and tourists alike. Its position at number two highlights its iconic status and undeniable allure as one of Copenhagen's most beloved landmarks. Number one, Tivoli Gardens. Claiming the top spot on our list is the enchanting Tivoli Gardens, a magical amusement park that has been delighting visitors since 1843. Nestled in the heart of Copenhagen, Tivoli Gardens offers a whimsical blend of thrilling rides, enchanting gardens, live performances, and delectable dining options. Its charming fairy tale atmosphere, illuminated by thousands of twinkling lights, creates a truly unforgettable experience for guests of all ages. Compared to Nyhaven at number two, Tivoli Gardens stands out for its immersive entertainment offerings and timeless appeal. Its position at number one highlights its status as a beloved cultural landmark and a must-visit destination that captures the essence of fun and fantasy in Copenhagen. If you are looking for more travel inspiration, check out the video on screen now that we have seen all the top 10 spots in Copenhagen. So pack your bags, embark on your own Copenhagen adventure, and let the wonders of this city leave you spellbound. Safe travels and happy exploring.